<laughs> Welcome back from Facebook to Snapchat and everything in between. New social media platforms are appearing all the time. So it can be very hard to regulate what your children are accessing online. Our gadget guru, Colin Baker, who I've just upset because I dissed Star Trek. You said, you said I couldn't touch you. That's a different Which issue. Joy, he joins us now with a practical guide to setting up proper security barriers. And we were talking about this earlier on. Um, this is a minefield for parents. And at this point now, parents are sitting up at home going, how do I do it? I get hit with questions at least five times a day from parents tearing their hair out, literally, yeah. at kids and youngsters who are either obsessed with social media, obsessed with the devices, and when they take their computers away, when they're, they're, they turn the Wi-Fi off and they go on their 3G, or they're on their watches, and they're on their tablets, or uh, it, it's just an absolute minefield, as you said, between obsession, between the cyber, the, the risks of cyberbullying, security, security yeah. grooming. I mean, obviously, the internet is fantastic in terms of its educational aspect and quality entertainment. We all know that, but I suppose kids can just end up taking the the phrase "all you can eat." To an entirely new level. Yeah, but also, unfortunately, there are people out there who are, whose main purpose in life is to get our kids in a certain direction. Yeah. Yeah. And through pop-ups and through mm. whatever, they can be very quickly taken down a wormhole. So how yeah. do we as parents secure them? And, and that's, uh, I suppose a lot of parents also say, well, like, listen, I don't really understand the technology. My kids are, are actually running rings around us? me. There are, absolutely. Right. Okay, I mean, you start off with something. That, this is an Irish product. This is something I'm very, very impressed by. It's called an iKids. And the trick to it is its simplicity. This plugs straight into your existing router. So you know your modem router that yeah. you get from your provider. And in five minutes, you download an app onto your phone, you set up your name and your membership, it takes literally five minutes, and then you set up your users. So little Johnny, little Mary, the wife, etc., etc., whoever's in the house and whoever you want to, to have access to your internet. And then you set up the ages of each of them and any restrictions and filters you want to put in place. So, for example, you might say, well, internet's off at 10 o'clock every night except for Saturday night, so easy to set up as a schedule. You might say, well, Mary's nine, so she can only access YouTube for kids. She can't access any social media. But Tommy is 16. He can access Instagram and, and Facebook. And you. you can set that really, really simply on the app, all from this device. 99 euro, uh, sets up in five minutes, and it's an Irish company. It was actually invented by an Irish guy, and it's supported in Ireland that as well. So when you, so even if you have any trouble, instead of ringing... Uh, you, you know, or, or texting or web chatting. There's actually an Irish support service for it. It's a brilliant idea. So Very rather than just having that option of it's either on or it's off yeah, for yeah. everybody, that you can tailor. Exactly, you can tailor, but you can also, and it, it doesn't necessarily affect your use of the yeah, internet. Yeah, so yeah. you have full, full unencumbered access, yeah. access, but the kids don't, and they're 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 tailored to each other. And does it do that through devices or them logging into the Wi-Fi? Through all devices. So whether they have a tablet and a computer or, or a family Netflix computer, or whatever. their login is their identity, is their access. Very, You've also got clever. if you do want, obviously that's Wi-Fi in the home. If they have a device that they can access the internet on through 3G, they do have an additional service that can be preloaded onto the phone, so that. When they're out and about and not near the Wi-Fi, they've still got that tailored Same access. Restrictions. Exactly, yeah. Very clever. What's so, next? Now, another thing I, I, I often get asked about, and a lot of people don't realise that this exists, is Apple's own parental uh, control setup through a thing called Apple Family. Now, for starters, if you go into your settings on any Apple device, any so an iPad or an iPhone, um, you can pop into the settings here, and there's a thing called family sharing down the bottom there. Mm -hmm. You can add up to six members of the family to that, and through that, now, Apple Family itself is about €15 Euro a month, but that gives you access to Apple Music, so you can download and access Very any good, music yeah. across all your devices and across all the family. You can share your purchases, so if you've already bought an app, the entire family Very can good. share that app. But also, down to parental controls, you can access their screen time. Now, the screen time function, if you go into the settings on any normal device, you'll see down here in the main settings menu a screen time option. Now, I don't know if you've played with that yourself. No. You can actually impose it on yourself and restrict your own access and, and decide, look, I'm going to only let myself access social media for 10 minutes a day Very or good. only on a Saturday yeah. and you could set that for yourself here and it'll warn you 
five minutes before the end, say, listen, you've only five minutes left of social media access. Or you can access that for your family members as well and very control clever. the level of access very intelligently and very fairly and by and individual that's family members. Apple but the, 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 the screen time and the content filtering <clears throat> is totally free on each device. If you want to share that across a family and have singular access from one device, that's 15 euro a month. So quite inexpensive and very, very easy to set up. Okay, and then these, now, which look like Lego cubes. Yeah, right? yeah, don't they? They're kind of nice. They, I, I, I didn't want to just stick to just parental controls. This does a little bit more than that. A lot of people say, well, you know, Jenny can't get Wi-Fi up in her bedroom. She's been nagging me for months about this. Or we can't get Wi-Fi down in the kitchen or outside in the ship, whatever it is. And lots of people have this problem with their router. It's not covering their house with Wi-Fi. A mesh system like this answers all those problems and challenges and prayers. It's called a tender mesh. It covers up to a 6,000 square foot home. And the idea is, again, it's very easy to use you download an app one of these boxes plugs into the router and then these boxes go elsewhere in the home roughly in a sort of a triangular configuration so, if you, so the attic say are out in the it, shed or whatever it, 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 exactly and what it does is it literally covers the home with a dome of now, powerful you were Wi-Fi. telling me because I, I said i have something similar at home it's just a, it, it's the a repeater. The yeah yeah little but that's a repeater. repeater yeah like they're grand i mean if you've got a, a little black spot down the back of the house you can plug that in it'll repeat your broadband uh, they're about 39 well, this is, gonna this is totally a... different this is much more powerful it's a dome of much more powerful wi-fi all around the home covers a much those homes that are difficult to cover thicker yeah. walls more spread out maybe bigger homes and um, or sometimes smaller homes have the same problem you just can't cover it with a mesh system like this and obviously not only are you getting better signal because of the improved signal you're getting much faster access speed as well how much do they come? Now you can also turn on and off the the, the internet remotely oh, right. from your phone. Very good. You can control access via user. So you use similar features, not quite as uh, straightforward as the iKids, but similar parental lockdowns. And what's the price point? That's on? 299 so it's more expensive, but obviously it's a much more serious piece of equipment. But you get more bang for your buck. You're also, exactly, yeah. And yeah. finally. Now, we, we, did, we talk, also talk about sort of family computers. A lot of people say, well, you know what? What we'll do is we just have one computer in the living room room and at least we'll have general oversight of that or we might have a laptop for a teenager or whatever and they're using it in school decent antivirus and, and you know it's not just about flogging something and saying here you should have antivirus the amount of you, you can imagine in my business people coming in every day with yeah. all manner of viruses yeah Tears at least three times a week over lost photos, uh, lost passwords, having to work. change all your work. identity, Gone. work, yeah. exactly. So decent endpoint antivirus. There's one called Panda Endpoint, which not only locks you down against the latest ransomware and viruses and spyware, but it also, it's called endpoint, endpoint protection, so it protects you kind of against yourself. A lot oh, of viruses yeah. use you and hack your mind yeah, yeah. by teasing you into saying, oh look, we've got a delivery for you today, here's an invoice, and you go and down Download it. So you've inadvertently yeah, gone you've and it. infected your computer. Panda prevents against that. And we don't, in terms of Apple products, then. Well, it works on. Um, listen, Apple, uh, that's a are common we, question, yeah, a very good one. Apple say, products well, we don't are really still. No, no, you absolutely do. We yeah. would see almost as much virus activity, in some cases more, on Apple, you on see, MacBooks. I haven't, and got, MacBook I haven't got any of mine because I, I bought into that thing of you don't need it. You know what? If, you, if you're just <clears> using it for Facebook access, maybe you don't, maybe you'll get away with it. But I find for anyone doing any kind of business or online banking or anything that, yeah, that's yeah. critical, they absolutely should have decent antivirus. I thought that's uh, frightened me sufficiently. I don't Thank mean to be frightened. Thanks very much. I thought I was hoping this was going to be fun. Thanks, Colin. It was. <laughs>